Hello everyone and welcome. Today we will be summoning on the new Darkness Within banner and we will be pulling for primarily Corin and also Fallen Burkut. Alright, we got our four tickets and we got our orbs, so let's jump in. Yes! Okay, so our primary target really is Corin. I love Corin, I love playing as Corin in Smash, and I really enjoyed Corin as a unit in all of my Fates playthroughs. I know it's a. Uh, there's a very huge split in the fan base between people who love Corin and people who hate Corin. Uh, I understand that Corin isn't the most intelligent or <laughs> the best character in the Fire Emblem franchise, but I really enjoyed Corin as a unit uh, in in Fates. Oh my gosh, we got Torpid Dragon Tiki. Ah, oh, what? Wow. I think Tiki is probably the best unit on this banner. What are her IVs? Plus HP, minus speed. Okay. Well, not Corin, but I'll take her. Something I don't understand is why Corin is even in this banner. <laughs> she wasn't really possessed by anything. Like, they just gave us Chapter 5 Corrin, and, and that's confirmed by her supports in the Forging Bonds. How many... that was 8 orbs. Okay, 8 orbs. Fallen Tiki, not complaining, I'm pretty happy, and we're barely... We haven't spent any of our tickets, let's keep going. Oh, this is such a good circle. Uh, but yeah, if it's Fallen Corrin from Chapter 5, why is she so strong? <laughs> Why is she, like, the strongest infantry dragon in the game right now if she's from Chapter 5? She should be, like, super weak. Also, there are many other characters in Fates that could have been in this banner. Like, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I know maybe if you've seen other videos reviewing um, this banner, they'll tell you other characters who actually did get possessed. But I won't spoil any, but there's at least three. Now... I guess to IS's defense, if either of the other three units who did get possessed um, were to be on the banner, I probably wouldn't pull for them. <laughs> so I guess I guess there's that. Like IS knows what the people want, and uh, they know that a lot of people don't want more Fates alts, but they know that a lot of people would still summon for more Corrin alts. If we got another Corrin alt within the next month, I probably would pull for it because I love Corrin and I think IS knows that. Um, however, I do commend IS for not just giving us Fates alts during this banner, but they also gave us uh, Shadows of Valentia, Mystery of the Emblem, and um, Thracia 776. So um, it's, it's awesome. They're kind of catering to fans of different games. So I think that's pretty cool. At least I'll, I'll give it that. <laughs> no Burkuk here. I recently revisited um, that scene toward the end with Burkut, and that just made me want to pull for him even more. Like, oh, it's so sad. Like, again, I won't spoil anything. Oh, the game's been out for, like, what, two years? Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, okay. We got a five-star Brave Hector. That's like the third time <laughs> ever, since his, ever since he's been out. It's the third time he pity breaks me. But it's okay. I won't complain. He's a great unit. And may, I might merge him up. Like, I have three of him. And they're all at level one. No joke. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm like... I know I haven't gotten Corin, but I'm, I'm pretty happy. This is... This is good luck so far. Great luck. Come on, give me Corin, give me Corin. It's a Sarah. But but yeah, Burkut's story is so so sad. If if only if only he would have not been so um what's it called? If only he wouldn't been so fixated on power, maybe he could have, maybe even still been part of royalty if he, if he wasn't so uh, 
stuck up and such an elitist. I mean, that's what he is. He's like a hardcore elitist. Ah, oh, another Satsuna. How do y'all feel about the newer finds? I uh, immediately refined Lucas's lance because I had the slaying, slaying lance, slaying lance steady breath combo. And once they gave us the, what's it called, daybreak lance, like I immediately spent that uh, divine dew. Like it's just so good. Like I, I really like how they, before they add refines, they see how people use certain characters and they make the refine to be very similar to that. Like I know a lot of people complained about Titania getting a, a, a Emerald Axe, but in reality, most people, that's how they use Titania, because of the color. Ooh, I wonder if y'all can hear that. There's thunder. There's a thunderstorm going on right now. All right, we already used all of our tickets, so I think I'm only going to spend as many as 44 orbs. I really don't want to dip below 100 because I have this theory, and I always have theories and they're never right, but this one kind of makes sense. It has, it has some merit to it. So last year we got Fallen Robin in the Fallen Banner, <laughs> and... Um, then like toward the end of that month, I think, or maybe a month or two later, we got Fallen Female Robin as a legendary hero. So that makes me think that possibly we may be getting Male Corrin as a legendary hero. Maybe, I mean, this is a mythic hero month, but next month we could get him. I know they always like to even out the, the male and female counterparts. Eventually, I mean... The Corrin, last time Corrin was released, they released both male and female, but before that they released summer female Corrin, and then they didn't release male Corrin until like six or seven months later, and we got another Torpid Dragon Tiki. Ah, damn it. At least I could merge her. Oh, I really wanted Corrin. Plus HP, I guess. This game really wants me to have a plus HP Torpid Dragon, or should I? What skills does she have? Raise an attack speed. I could get that through Grails. Special Fighter 3. She's such a good unit, though. What does she say? I will burn everything with all my strength. That's kind of cute, but also kind of scary. Uh, okay. So I said 44 more orbs. So, oops. so let's see. 31 more orbs. We've been getting pretty lucky. I know I'm complaining, but... But it's been pretty good luck, and we just keep getting a bunch of colorless <laughs> orbs. So keep them coming, but no more tikis, please. No more azamas either. <laughs> um, last night, I got to see Detective Pikachu, and let me tell you, it was a fun movie. Like, it was really, really nice. The Pokemon are really well realized. Um, there's a few twists that I didn't see coming, um, mainly with Pokemon, like there's this one Pokemon that was I didn't know was a Pokemon. I mean, I knew it was a Pokemon, but I didn't know it was there. Um, if y'all have already seen it, I think you already know what it was. And I think that was the biggest twist in, in my opinion. I was like, what? Didn't see that coming. More Sarahs. Yeah, it was a fun movie. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to summon for that blue orb. Because I really want Corrin. And yes, I know these characters are going to come back in future banners. But you can go about it that way with anything. Like, there's always going to be... You can always save up orbs, plus 10, or whatever. But the best time to have these characters is now because they're bonus units and really um i have already plus 10 uh one two two or three three five exclusive five star units and um like it feels amazing like they're amazing units but i've also plus 10 uh, a few 
non-exclusive five-star units, and they do an awesome job at PvE content as well. So, I kind of gave up on the whole, ooh, you need to save your orbs if you want to plus 10 a really good character. I think you just need to save it, like, like, if you don't have the orbs to summon the character you want, like, they're going to come back anyway, so. I am just in the mentality of, ooh, these are brand new characters, um, so get them while they're hot. Yes, they'll come back, but they won't be as appealing then as they are now. And the power creep is going to happen. Oof. We're going to dip below 100. What's your pity rate? 3.25. Okay, one more 5 star. Ah! About to lip, dip below 100 now. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh. Corrin, come to me. Not Corrin. Your Kaze. Which is fine, because I love attack... Um, Attack smoke. It's such a good skill. I'm so glad that we have it at three at the three and four star pool. Is that gone up? Nope. Oh, maybe I should just be happy with what I got. Two tiki's and was it a brave Hector? Priscilla. Yeah, you can, I mean, if you're playing for high scores, um, then by all means save your orbs for those legendary banners and two-person, three-person banners. But if you're playing this game just for fun, I mean, by all means, spend away. At least that's how I feel. But if winning is fun for you, then you do you. Oh my gosh, I haven't, actually haven't seen Riss in a long time. Riss? Rice? Has it gone up yet? Okay. Oh, come on. Something that, um, that I thought was kind of interesting is how... Um, oh, okay, I give up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. That's life. At least I'll... Score well. Maybe Berkut is right here. If not, then... <sighs> if not, then that's it. Then I will... She'll come back. I know Corrin's gonna come back eventually. Not a Shigure. I think maybe if I would have gone into this banner hoping for... For a... Uh, a Fallen Tiki. Plus Res. We would have gotten Corrin. <laughs> in my head it's telling me to remember a voice I <laughs> remember I'm sorry her her accent is I like her accent it's just kind of funny sometimes <sighs> okay I guess that is that I might jump in later off camera uh, but I'm gonna wait this banner is here for oh 19 more days so Thank you so much for watching. If you um, got Berkut or any of the other units, let me know how you, if you enjoy them. Um, and uh, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed uh, summoning with me. All right, well, good luck on your summons. Bye.